What's going on my exotic family? It's your boy Trey. Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're actually just gonna be giving advice to new snake owners. Stay tuned. <laughs> everybody so welcome back to the video i'm here with my brazilian rainbow bow of medusa um and like i said we're going to be talking new advi advice for new snake owners um first things first is decide on the type of snake you want um i see a lot of times most people are just like i want a snake i don't care what it is no definitely pick a species of snake that for one you can handle but one that interests you don't get something just to get it because then in reality is if you get it just to get it you're probably not going to care for it how it should be taken care of uh, so tip number two is going to be obviously once you decide on the species of snake you want do tons of research on that animal um even the animals i have i have you know i've been keeping reptiles for years and Things change, education change, uh, can change. Um, so I'm always researching anything out there that may be new because you don't wanna be that person that's stuck in their ways not realizing you're only harming your animals. So definitely make sure you're up to date on all of your research just to make sure that you can give the animal the best possible home in captivity. Um, it just better benefits the animal in the long run. All right, everybody, so tip number four. Um, one thing I probably see the most um, is a lot of people will get their reptile, they're so excited, but then they get it home and then they're so uh, nervous to handle it or the snake strikes or does something um, that they're not ready for. Um, so the one thing I can say, uh, a tip of advice, when you get your snake and everything is set up and you get them home, give them time. You have to give them time to adjust, to reacclimate to the new environment, the new enclosure, new smells, new surroundings. Um, and ultimately you, um, how would you feel if you know you were an animal and you got put in, you know, a holding container and then you got bought and you had to go home and then you, um, you got somebody just looking over you trying to grab you from the top. You're, you're going to be on the defense. So you definitely just want to give them time to, um, adjust to the new home and the new environment. So yeah. Medusa has something to say apparently. So another piece of advice, something that's gonna be very, very important. Um, if you've never had a snake before, um, start off with something small. Um, I would start off with something personally like a corn snake, maybe something that doesn't get too huge and isn't intimidating to most people. Um, a lot of people more often than not know someone in the reptile hobby and then that person you know, has a bunch of snakes and they'll convince them, oh, you should get this, you should get this, you should get this, not realizing that this person is different from them and they don't have that type of experience. Um, ball pythons are good as well. Um, I, me personally, I just feel like corn snakes are um, better for you know introducing someone who doesn't have any snake experience um, into the reptile world, um, only because for one, they're not super huge snakes, but you usually don't have a problem with them eating. And we all know that ball pythons are known for going on those good feeding strikes, but they're not bad snakes. So if you choose to start with a ball python, not a bad choice either. That's just my personal preference. Alrighty, but everybody, so the last tip I have for you guys is be prepared. Um, these animals, they don't require a ton of maintenance unless you have a lot of animals like I do. However, um, there are certain things you need to be prepared for. So if you know you have exotic animals, be on the lookout for exotic vets where you live. That way, if something does go awry, you have somewhere to take them um, to ultimately get them checked out and make sure they're healthy. Um, but also make sure you have a decent food supply, especially if you're thinking of feeding frozen, which I highly recommend. You definitely want to make sure you have a steady and consistent um, source of food. So with that being said, those are the five tips that I have for new snake owners. There's tons more advice out there. That's just what I chose um, to focus it on because I feel like that's very important, especially for new snake keepers. Um, those are things that I wish I knew before getting into the reptile um, community um, that I was never told. It's something I learned on my own. So um, hope this video finds you in good faith if you are a new snake owner and I hope it helps you um, with your new snake. And if you've got a new snake, congratulations and I wish you the best. Um, for those of you that are longtime followers uh, or everybody, thank you for watching the video. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads and drop a comment and let me know what you guys think. As always, stay healthy, stay clean, stay exotic.